A seven on your side story about a new type of ATM fraud has exploded on the internet. Scammers using glue and the ATM tap feature have been draining bank accounts. Yeah, now more victims have come forward saying it happened to them as well. I know I've been telling people right. about it, Michael. <laughs> uh, this story's really struck a nerve. Uh, everywhere I go, people are talking oh, about that. this. It's amazing. And look, this scam has so many moving parts. It starts with thieves pouring glue into the card reader. That forces consumers to use a tap function, setting up a domino effect. That guy scammed me last night at the ATM machine. Pamela Bongiorno showed us how thieves got her money at this ATM. I inserted my card. It didn't work. A man in line told her she could tap her card instead, and it worked. She got her cash, walked off, but the next day, a shock. Why is my account almost $1,000 less? She found three more withdrawals on her account, $940 gone. I'm like, that happened to me. Stephanie Berry was amazed to see our story about Pamela and Rob Bell. I didn't think anything of it. I thought he was just using the ATM. And Justin Sindelar. My initial reaction was, wait a second. I definitely did not withdraw that much money. All used the tap feature at this ATM. All found their accounts drained after they left. I was so mad. I was like, that happened to me. I knew I should have called seven on your side when it happened. Stephanie says she tapped her phone at that ATM to withdraw $20, then hurried off because a man was lurking nearby. But I didn't know if he was being a creep or what he was doing. Seconds later, a fraud alert on her phone. Did she just withdraw $600? She replied no, but a little too late. $400 was already gone. And he said, uh, it'll work. I just got money from there. You had to tap it. The card reader didn't work when Gary Lee used that ATM. Then a man nearby insisted on helping. He grabbed my card. Somebody behind me said, it'll work. The stranger tapped Gary's card for him. Gary got his cash, walked off. The next day, all but $5 was gone. They put glue in the card reader of the ATM machines. The bank manager told Pamela that scammers pour glue into the slot so victims have to tap. By tapping, the transaction window stays open even after the cash comes out. So, if a customer walks off without closing the window, a thief can simply step up and make more withdrawals. Chase said customers should wait for this screen. Do you want to do something else? Click no to close out the session. I think I closed it, but you know what? Maybe I left it open. Bank managers told victims the scam has been ongoing since last fall. Yet, Chase rejected all of their claims, saying they authorized the transactions. Why would I make four transactions in one day? The investigator from Chase just made me feel so icky. Oh, how do we know you didn't steal it? Why would I steal my own money? I just felt real betrayed. You know, I'm not going to take no for an answer. Pamela filed her claim four times before Chase replaced her money. But after our inquiries, the bank did refund all of the victims in this report, telling us we have credited our customers in full and are taking additional steps to protect patrons. The tap feature does require entering a PIN for each transaction, but thieves have clearly found a way to capture the PINs. Chase said cover the keypad when you enter your PIN, look for signs of any tiny cameras, and don't talk to anyone in line. If anybody's coming up to you at an ATM, they know they're not supposed to yeah. do that. Yeah. Be not very, very, very careful. Yeah. 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 Thank you, Mike. Sure.